All right, everybody, we're here with uh, Mr. Sana. He took us around, and uh, now we're about to speak with him on a few things about his poetry. This is a very beautiful place, and the landscape is seriously huge. Uh, you see that they are actually taking good care of the, the chickens here, and everything is on its on course. So, Mr. Sano, uh how is it now? How is it? Uh, when, when this entire issue started, uh, this idea, I know that you are one of those helping to promote the idea of, you know, managing and taking care of the chickens and the production of eggs. So how is it? How is it? And how, how did it all start up? All right. And uh, thank you very much. Okay. This is Eggland. All right. All started with Mr. Kevin and mm -hmm. his partner, Ima. Okay. They are all abroad. Uh, it was a time and uh, they contacted me and uh, we started communicating with each other. And uh, Kevin happened to be my son. Okay. So he has a uh, agriculture knowledge. They were all started with the support of his partner, Ima. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, in terms of years, uh, is, it, is it like five years, two years? Uh, we 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 have just lived for at about uh, a year and a half. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow. Uh, a year and a half. Not even quite half yet. Okay. Just, just in a year, few. I think by November, November will actually be making us one year. Oh wow! So uh, that's that's impressive. Uh, the fact that you've not gone a year and you have grown this far. I mean, it's impressive. So um, I guess there are some challenges involved because uh, one thing that I've noticed, this environment seems to be quiet. So sometimes intruders may come in. So I guess there may be some challenges and there are some challenges involved. So we might share with us some of the challenges that are involved. Yeah. Uh, first of all, our major challenge in agriculture here in the Republic of Nigeria is lack of support. Okay, lack of support. You mean from the government or from the institution? And uh, from the government. All right. Lack of support. First of all, in animal husbandry, most spe specifically in poultry culture, fee carries 75% of the expenses. In okay. Liberia, we are incapacitated to grow corn. Okay. And corn will happen to be the major fee for the bird. It can take a time we don't get corn because the fee producers get the corn from Guinea. Okay. And once they don't have corn to produce fee for us to buy fee to feed the bird, it's a challenge. Mm. Yeah. So the challenge is, is actually fee. <coughs> Other challenges have to go with medication. Okay. Oh, yeah. so you so you you give the birds medication. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's a tough Vet, job. Yeah, veterinary services. Okay. You no, know, we lack vets in the country. We don't have much vets. Mm. And you understand? So veterinary services also give us help. Sometimes we contact the ministry and the agriculture. Okay. And they actually assist. Sometimes you know, the vets come around and see. So those are you know, challenges. Like for intruders. Okay. For this, uh, mm -hmm. since we started our farming, we have not actually experienced okay. in Chula. The people coming to come break in the we have not experienced it in this community yet. Okay. So for that, we are very grateful yet. Yeah. And we yeah. pray for it to continue. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so um, having spoken about uh, the challenges you faced with, I mean, no matter the case, we understand that there will always be challenges. And where there, where there are challenges, somehow there are benefits. So uh, this is a job that you're doing. So would you mind sharing with the public some of the benefits that you, you, you as a person have experienced in doing this kind of business? Probably it could be through education, through whatsoever case it is. Just a benefit that you have experienced that maybe I want, I want to do the kind of business too. And uh, through your, your benefits you expressed, I uh, could be motivated to do something similar. 
I mean, when I'm saying I'm not, I mean, I'm not talking about myself, but I'm talking about any other person who would want to get involved, right? So just share with the public what you've experienced as a benefit, like you've experienced, you, you have shared with them your challenges. So, I mean, it, it, it's a sign of uh, fear for some of them who want to get involved. But then sharing with them also your benefits, I mean, they, they're going to be motivated. That look, even though there are challenges, but I know there are some benefits attached. So uh, can I, I mean, I can go, I can go into it, right? So j just share with them your, some benefits that you've, you've experienced in it. Yeah, uh, first of all, there are many benefits okay. in the first place to learn the culture itself, All right. the poetry culture. Yeah. Because in many cases, people will tell us that uh, one mistake, all oh, your brothers will die. Mm -hmm. Because those are the fear that people, <laughs> people, people listen to. Okay. But not knowing if you put in mm -hmm. These are the benefits now. Yeah. You put in all mention mm -hmm. that will help you to protect your brother. Yeah. Which has to do with the biosecurity. Mm -hmm. And you understand that will also protect your brother. Yeah. Clean community, clean environment. And you understand yeah. your brother will all you will breathe in with ease. And they all will survive. Okay. Maybe you have a lesser mortality, like five percent, mm -hmm. because sometimes mortality come in through stamping. All of them just stick together, like okay. that, and you know, then some can die. All right. So the benefit is that when you when you learn all these things, then you will be able to be free to tell a lot of who be farmers. To okay. see, let us get into the farming. The farming is this, and the farming is that. Okay. Secondly, employment. All right. As the farm will be growing, okay. we will be getting some financial benefit from the air. Yeah. As we sell the air, when we start making more money, then we start employing people that will okay. be able to help us do the work. That you help. You you employ maintenance men yeah. that will be keeping the environment of the farm clean. clean yeah. You employ security. Uh, you you employ poultry technician. Yeah. And you understand. So those are all the beautiful benefits. And the the overall the overall the library themselves. Okay. I'm not saying that we would actually be able to keep importer. Yeah. Brothers and egg out of the market. Yeah. But when we are many in the poultry industry, okay. I believe that it will discourage the importers. Okay. And you understand? It will discourage the importers. So when they are importing, they will import the kind of quality. Yeah. That will come that yeah. will match. Yeah, the what you have. With yeah. Us. Okay. And you understand? Yeah. So this benefit. Uh, they want actually we need to be thinking therefore most okay. especially when we are in the poultry industry because these are organic air okay. from the farm to the pot to the body yeah it has a beautiful nutrition yeah and you understand yeah they're, so they're... it is highly beneficial for us the Liberian. all right so thank you very much uh thanks for watching Liberian tv network um we just heard the voice of Mr. of Mr. Sano, who is the uh, manager here at Eggland. So Eggland, like I like I've said over and over, Eggland is a librarian-owned egg production uh, farm here in Bombing County that is owned by by Emma and Kevin. So we will be getting details of who they are at another time, but. As we are currently, we say thank you for watching Librarian TV Network. And please, always subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.